Residents of Sydney, Australia woke up to an eerie sight on the morning of September 23rd. A red sky, straight out of a science fiction movie. Dust storms are not unusual in Australia, but they are when they reach the coast. What caused this massive, powerful phenomena? Australia is in the middle of a 10-year drought and has been ravaged by wildfires. At the same time, dust storms globally have become more frequent, especially in places like Africa and China. Is the increase in frequency and severity of these storms caused by climate change? It's partially going to be due to climate change, but the thing about dust is it's not just a, a climate change driven phenomenon. It's not only drought that leads to dust storms, it's a variety of factors. And so what you see in different places in the world are different combinations of climate change and the other human impacts that together are causing more dust storms in, in different regions. Some have suggested that dust storms might have a silver lining and help decrease the effects of global warming. What happens with dust is when it's up in the atmosphere, it, it actually it blocks the sunlight from reaching the surface of the Earth and reflects some of it back out to space. And in doing so, it actually has a cooling effect, but the dust only lasts in the air for a few days, maybe a couple weeks, uh, whereas greenhouse gases like CO2, they stay in the atmosphere for centuries. With California in its third year of drought, could this be part of our future? In principle, something like that could happen in California. So these dried lakes, whether they're dried because of climate changes that have occurred in the past or whether they've dried more recently because of human diversion of water for agriculture, are very strong dust sources. 